Hello everybody, so today I'm going to be showing you the greatest redstone machine of all time, Luigi. Okay, so what this actually is, is a multicolor pixel display. So sadly, it's not able to reach 100% coverage with pixels, like there's these spots of obsidian, but it's still a pretty good image we saw from Luigi. So... Um, basically how it works is you have three layers of sand and each one is a different image. So it just uses some weird mechanics and then swaps this bottom layer out to the top and then it can switch between three images. Uh, it's quite laggy so I'm going to have to show how it works in replay mod. Uh, and then after that I'll give a more detailed explanation of how it all works. Yeah, so that's the machine, and it can switch between three pictures and then go back to the first one. And Yeah. So the basic mechanism which allows this machine to be compacted so densely in is this machine, the sand swapper thingy. Well, concrete powder. So what it does is lifts up the stack of sand with this honey block, and then they'll all begin to fall down. And then this slime block will push upward and launch the bottom block of sand, or concrete, yeah, to the top, and then it will land on the top. So this one is able to switch nine, but I wasn't actually able to use this design because when you launch it, or when the slime block retracts, it actually sticks onto the bottom block and then pulls it down, which if you're trying to compact it, you go over the block limit. So to fix it, I just made some more precise timings so that it will pull down before it can actually stick onto the next block. And so this one is able to pull down even though it has 12 slime blocks already. So just like this. But yeah, that only makes it, it's only able to do four colors of sand, but with compacting it, it was only able to do three because of push limits anyway. So that's okay. Okay, so the wiring on this machine is kind of complicated just because of how compacted I had to make it, but I'll do my best to explain it. So basically on the top here, all the yellow, is um, each row powers a row of honey blocks. So this, when it's powered, is just, this is a budded piston which will uh, push upward and then they're all updated simultaneously and they'll all push up at the same time. So 
this piston will push up these three redstone blocks. They'll go up here and then power some of these honey blocks. So these honey blocks will lift up some of the sand on the sides of them. Right, so after those are activated with some delay, there's more instant row wires on the bottom here. So it's the same thing, just butted pistons, which will depower when there, there's a block update. So this is just going to, uh, I don't know, yeah, powering. Here's the delay, and then it will push this redstone block up here and push and then this one will push up a whole section of slime blocks so under each underneath each segment of concrete powder there is the same pattern of slime blocks so the honey box will lift up this whole section and then after a little bit of delay the slime box will push upward and then launch the bottom row up on top of it so this machine at first for some reason i was thinking I would just simultaneously power all of the honey blocks, lift them up, and then simultaneously power all of the uh, slime blocks. And then I realized that's li literally an, an industrial scale lag machine. So I decided not to go with that route. So instead I power one row at a time. There's just repeaters here to add delay. So then they just go one row at a time. And you saw that from the time lapse. Yeah, so that's pretty much how this machine works. Alright, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this machine and Luigi, since he's the same color as me. And he also has, like, blue overalls. So, yeah.